Hey, this week's video, we're going to make this hiking stick with a spiral design. All right, to get started, we have a 48 inch piece of round stock. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use a pencil to just kind of draw out the design that I want, and then we'll go back and uh, carve it in. I'm gonna start up at least eight inches above, and I'm gonna put a band all the way around. And that'll give me a groove all the way around. And I'll start my spiral there, and I'll go up. And we'll put another one up here. And we'll come up here to 28 inches. And we'll do the same thing. Now I just need to make my spiral. And I just kind of eyeball this in. It's not going to be perfect but it's going to be pretty close or it's going to look close <laughs> have to carve that out okay before I carve that spiral in I want to first sand down for my foot so I'm gonna do that part first basically we're just gonna use the sander and put a long bevel on the end and then just get the foot to fit and then after that I'll smooth it in a little bit and uh, we'll carve the bevel okay for sanding this down taking this down as far as I am I like to use an 80 grit sandpaper Next up, we're going to put the spiral in. Now that I've got my grooves in, I've got it roughed out about what I want. Now I need to go back and I'm going to use a finer sanding drum and we'll take all the coarse stuff out of there. So it's best to go slow in doing this, take your time, but don't stay in one spot. If you keep the sander in one spot, you'll really, uh, that's when you'll mess it up. But just keep moving and it's better to go lightly 
and go back and you can always deepen your grooves later or whatever you're carving. All right, I smell something like from the outdoor kitchen, so I gotta go over and take a look. So what are you doing over here? I'm cooking on the grill, cooking some burgers. Okay. I got our new uh, grill master apron on. What we sell on the website. Yep. Well, that'll be a good dinner tonight. Hey, if you like these videos, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. And check out the links in the description below. It supports our channel and helps us uh, keep bringing you this content. Okay, this is a 120 grit. This is much more uh, like finished sanding. So what we're going to do is these round grooves on the ends, I'm going to do those first. Because once this is carved down in the spiral and joins that, anytime I go around there, it's going to want to go off in the other direction. Okay, the spiral's done, and as you can see, I was getting a little bit of burn in there. I think that's going to be okay for the way I'm going to finish this stick anyway, so I'm not going to worry about taking that back out. Now we need to uh, finish sand the outer edge a little bit. We'll try to do a little more shaping up top here. put a ring here and here as well and then I just sand it out in between and that gives me an area where you can wrap 550 cord on there if you want or if you just like this area for a handle you know it works good for that too I would do this to have the ability to wrap 550 cord on here or fishing line underneath it okay here's our hiking stick so far and up next we're gonna burn it a little bit Now we need to do a little finish sanding. A lot of this black will come off. It won't be quite this dark.
now I'm inside, I'm gonna put my measurement marks on here. I like to put a dot every three inches and a line at every foot for the first two feet. So uh, you can take some measurements if needed. I also put a little hole in here for a lanyard or a piece of 550 cord to go through. So we got an accurate measurement. I need to put my rubber foot on there and put it all the way down. I like to go up against the wall. And then from there, it's just a matter of marking it out. I like to use a paint pen for this. I'm out of those at the present, so we'll just use a marker. It works just as well. Three inches, we'll put a dot. Six inches, we'll put a dot. And nine, and then a little line at 12. And then continue up. 15, 18, 21, and 24. And I go back and I make those a little bit nicer. Make them a little more round. All right, I'm inside with my favorite finisher and she's gonna put a finish on this hiking stick for us. What kind of finish are you gonna use today? A tongue oil. Rags and brushes that have tongue oil on them can sp spontaneously combust if they're not laid out in the air. Yeah, they have to get plenty of circulation around them when they dry. If they're just piled up, they can uh, combust and catch fire, right? Yeah. It's best to put your oil on in thin coats and not do too much at once. After our first coat dries, we'll do a second one and maybe even a third. Tongue oil is called a natural finish. It doesn't mean it's natural, it just means that the it lets the natural color of the wood show. That's right. The product itself may or may not be, quote, natural, but it's the natural color beneath the finish is what's visible. In woodworking, that's what's called a natural finish. Here's our finished hiking stick. And uh, got a nice place in here to put 550 cord around. I like the color. I think it turned out really nice. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I think we'll end the video here. I think that thing's done. All right, we need the other one. Let's do something. All right, over near the grill. Let's just wing it. What do you want? <laughs> All right, let's do the en ending too. All right, we're done. I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> well, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week, every Friday morning. And if you'd like to receive notifications when we do upload the next video, hit that notification bell. And check out our channel. We have several videos just like this one or very similar. We do various things including hiking, biking, boating, fishing, builds of various kinds. Mostly outdoor activities. Some homesteading is thrown in there as well. This channel is for the experience. We do these things for the experience of doing them and to show others how you can do it too. We try to be fun and entertaining while being educational all at the same time. 
Sometimes these experiences are done for the first time, and other times they're things that we do all the time. Sometimes we do things just for the fun of doing it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.